Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to automate your business using System.io. There are two main features in automation. We have rules and workflows. Let's start with rules. Automation rules are the simplest feature to automate your business. You can filter them based on their trigger type and action type, as well as whether they are active or not. As you can see, my list of rules is empty, so we're going to go ahead and create one together. Select add a rule and then you are going to create a trigger, so an event that occurs. As you can see, the triggers available are tags added and removed, forms subscribed to, campaigns completed, webinar registration, enrollment in courses and course bundles, new sales, email links being clicked and a page visited. Let's go with a new sale for this one. You can select which funnel you would like this new sale to come from and then which funnel step you would like this to come from. Then you're going to create an action. They can be subscribing or unsubscribing from a campaign, adding or removing a tag, sending emails to specific email addresses as well, course enrollment and webhooks. I'm going to choose to add someone to a campaign. And this is the campaign I'm going to subscribe them to. Now, what's really awesome is that you can create multiple actions for a single trigger. So another one is you could possibly add a tag to your contact. And for example, this one might be product A customer. For now, let's just stick to blog leads, the one that we've already created. Another action that you should consider adding to this kind of a trigger is to send an email to a specific email address. This is particularly useful if you have multiple members of your sales team who need to be notified whenever a sale is made. Let's go ahead and look at workflows. Select workflows. As you can see, there are no automations here yet. So let's go ahead and create one together. Simply click create, give your workflow a name, and there you go. It's ready and waiting for you to edit. Select the workflow you want to go into, and then you can build from here using this beautiful visual editor, which makes workflows, which are sometimes a complicated process, far easier to understand. You use them to automate your business and how contacts are managed inside it. Let's create our first trigger. Let's say that a funnel form has been subscribed and we're going to use it from the squeeze page of our test funnel. Click on create and there you go. Next, what you can do is add an action, delay or decision. So perhaps a few days after that funnel form has been subscribed, you can get the next step to start. We want to delay so that you do not inundate your audience members. Click create and there you go. You'll wait three days before the next thing happens. And now you can create an action. For example, you could apply a tag, remove a tag, enroll them in a course, or even subscribe them to a campaign. So let's select subscribe them to a campaign. And there's the campaign we're going to subscribe them to. Finally, what you can do here is create a decision. You have many different options based on contact fields, tags, email clicked and created and contact state. Let's say that we're going to opt for a tag. And this contact could be tagged with blog leads. The other decision could be that they decide not to be tagged with blog leads. And then two different things will happen based on those conditions. Let's click create. And there we have our option. Now, based on this decision, you can create another action. If they've opted into that tag, you can then unsubscribe them from that campaign because it could mean that they've opted into your course. Click on create and there you go. It really is as easy as that. Now let's go take a look at our automation rules again. I want to show you something quite important. Let us add a rule. Remember the trigger from before. It could be funnel step form subscribed from the sales funnel, from the thank you page. Then you can create something called a webhook. Sending webhooks is a technical but very powerful thing that you can do. This gives you the ability to communicate with another application like Zapier. You can use webhooks information to integrate to other applications. So you could configure Zapier to communicate with another application like a CRM or even Twilio so that you can send automatic SMSs to your customers as soon as they've purchased. The possibilities really are infinite here. 
and our Zapier integration is fully operational. If you ever need any support, you can always check out our Facebook group and ask your question there. Our community is very, very helpful. You can also contact our support team through the chat space here.